The group was subjected to verbal abuse and deprived of basic needs such as adequate food and sleep. I mean, at this point, we believe it. I mean, like, I'm sorry. After looking at that video with him beating the brakes off of Cassie, did, I'm telling you, like, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I believe it. It's just his track record. And then for you to come on Instagram and then just lie to us, like, you didn't even give us a good apology, like, going million dollar worth the game or something. But you a scumbag, bro. So I believe it, man. Thoughts and prayers to these women, bro. She claims they were sometimes forced to work up to 48 hours with no breaks. Richard also alleges that during the filming of Making the Band, she saw Kim Porter, Combs' ex-partner and mother of three of his children, leaving his recording studio in tears with visible facial injuries, including a lacerated lip. It's at that point, according to the lawsuit, that Richard says that she knew that Sean Combs was capable of assault and some of the most heinous acts towards the women. So many people are trying to break into the music industry. What up, what up, what up, YouTube? You clicked the title, you read the page, so I'ma just get to the point. Listen, man, did he this close from going to jail? Either he this close to going to jail or he this close for something drastic happening to him. Like, I don't know what's going on with Diddy. Um, I feel like this is like a complete new Diddy because the Diddy I grew up to, I didn't even know he was hitting women like this. Like, this is just like a shocker to me. Now, um, everything else that they saying he did, I'm not really surprised about. He always gave me like my community vibes, like he's part of the community, which is fine, you know, living your truth. But um, other than that, yeah, this all this other stuff that Diddy's into, I'm just like so surprised. So now apparently Dawn from Danity Kane, she's suing him. He just got sued the other day for a hundred million dollars because he didn't show up to court, and I thought that was crazy. Like, why would you not show up to court? Then you also settled with Cass. He gave her about what fifty million dollars or something like that. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, Diddy, clearly you did it because you're just losing every damn court case for whatever reason. So um, subscribe for the vibe. Shout out to ABC News. Let's get into this Danity Kane, Dawn Richards lawsuit, right? It's been a long journey to get here. She did not want to hide. Uh, why should she hide her head in shame? She has not done anything wrong. Dawn Richard had once been on top of the world. She was a rising star and a member of the popular girl group. Dawn was my favorite, huh? And Aubrey, I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? Kennedy Kane with hits like Showstopper. Yo, that was my shit. We showstop it. We show show. Mentor, none other than one of the most influential figures in American music, Sean Diddy Combs. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all did a great job today, ladies. Today, Richard is back in the spotlight. In a damning new lawsuit, she's accusing her former mentor of sexual battery, forced labor, and gender-motivated violence. These are all allegations that have become shockingly familiar against Diddy in recent months as he has faced lawsuit after lawsuit from women and men who have accused him uh, of, of all manner of, of bad behavior. Richard also claims she witnessed him abusing his former girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, better known as Cassie, on numerous occasions. Attorney Lisa Bloom is representing Richard. Don had the choice to file the case as a Jane Doe, and she chose not to do that. After giving it a fair amount of thought, she wants accountability. She wants justice. An attorney for she wants money. Holmes tells Nightline, quote, in an attempt to rewrite history, Don Richard has now manufactured a series of false claims all in the hopes of trying to get a payday, adding, quote, it's unfortunate that Miss Richard has cast their 20-year friendship aside to try and get money from him. But Mr. Combs is confidently standing on truth and looks forward to proving that in court. Boy, Diddy, you can't stand on business. Oh, you know, you can stand on business, but you damn sure can't stand on truth with your lying ass. Richard is just the latest person to come forward with disturbing allegations against the once celebrated hip-hop mogul. Diddy has been under criminal investigation for months by federal prosecutors here in New York. And if there are criminal charges, many of them may look a lot like what some of these individuals have been describing. With this newest lawsuit, this would probably only expedite or increase the amount of allegations and potential witnesses who could testify against Sean Combs. Last November, a stunning lawsuit by Cassie claimed that she was the victim of a pattern of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking by Combs. At the time, Combs denied all wrongdoing and said that settling was not an admission of guilt. 
then this explosive video. We're going to begin tonight with the alarming images now emerging of Sean Diddy Combs. The new video obtained exclusively by... I still can't get over that video. I'm sorry, yo. Like, that was just so unacceptable. And I still can't believe that that was Diddy. I'm telling you, he lied. He been lying to us. CNN. Diddy's flying through the hallway of this hotel, and he's so brutal. And Cassie is so small and just appears to be so broken. Like, there's a point where she just stays on the ground. It's so difficult to reflect on. Combs, now 54, acknowledges assault of Cassie in a message posted on Instagram days after the video surfaced. I was f***ed up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. Since Cassie's lawsuit, at least eight others have followed. Combs has denied any wrongdoing. Don Richard first met Combs while filming the MTV reality show, Making the Band. But I just feel like Diddy's gonna pull something because that's just how he is. Combs working on making Danity Kane the next big girl group. Dawn, I need you to take the lead on that song. I need you to take the lead and, and produce those vocals, get those vocals right. But behind the scenes, according to Richard's lawsuit, the group was subjected to verbal abuse and deprived of basic needs such as adequate food and sleep. I mean, at this point, we believe it. I mean, like, I'm sorry. After looking at that video, with him beating the brakes off of Cassie, did, I'm telling you, like, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. I believe it. It's just his track record. And then for you to come on Instagram and then just lie to us, like, you didn't even give us a good apology, like, going million dollar worth the game or something. But you a scumbag, bro. So I believe it, man. Thoughts and prayers to these women, bro. She claims they were sometimes forced to work up to 48 hours with no breaks. Richard also alleges that during the filming of Making the Band, she saw Kim Porter, Combs' ex-partner and mother of three of his children, leaving his recording studio in tears with visible facial injuries, including a lacerated lip. It's at that point, according to the lawsuit, that Richard says that she knew that Sean Combs was capable of assault and some of the most heinous acts towards the women. So many people are trying to break into the music industry. No matter how they're treated on those shows, it's very hard for them to leave because this is their lucky break. This is their dream. Richard went on to work with Combs in another group called Diddy Dirty Money. Like Puff says, it feels good to work with a team. I'm better with a team. According to her lawsuit, the harass... So you watch him beat up Kim Porter and then you came back. So after he treated you so unfairly, you then went back to work with him for dirty money. So you so you was treated like shit when you was in Danity Kane and you said, okay, well, you know what? Let me try this again. I'm not trying to victim blame. I'm just trying to say it out loud so we all can hear it. This man didn't stop. Richard says Combs groped her multiple times. She claims that while in the dressing room, he would be there groping her buttocks under the auspice of this is where I want her underwear to be showing. This is where I want her pants to be cut. This is where I want her, her top to be fitted. It was around this time, the lawsuit says, that Richard was witness to multiple acts of violence against Combs' then-girlfriend, Cassie. In one incident, she alleges that in front of dinner guests, Combs forcefully punched Cassie in the stomach, causing her to double over in visible pain, crying. And Don Richard describes this one instance where Cassie is apparently making breakfast in the kitchen, and Diddy comes downstairs. She describes him as drug-addled, uh, apparently high, and just starts yelling at Cassie. Diddy picks up the frying pan full of eggs and whatever and hurls it at her causing Cassie to duck into a fetal position. And she said, this is what made her, Dawn Richard, to, to be so afraid of him and what he was capable of. There was also a financial toll. Richard claims she's owed upwards of $3 million for work as an artist. In the music industry, sexual harassment and sexual abuse of women is tolerated. A lot of very high level people are complicit. Women suffer. Women are overly sexualized. They're discarded like trash after they complain. And a reckoning is long overdue. It takes a lot of people coming forward until somebody is believed against a very powerful person in the music industry. Yeah! A year ago this week, Combs was being celebrated at the MTV Video Music Awards, receiving the Global Icon Award for his impact on the industry. It don't matter what religion you are, but make sure you know there's a higher power of love. 
Tonight, he's far from that VMA stage. Just this week, he put his $61 million L.A. mansion up for sale. The home had been raided by the feds earlier in the spring. And his name is now sullied by allegations that he denies, that he insists he will fight, uh, but he is also facing a criminal investigation. The biggest threat that he faces is the prospect of criminal charges. Diddy, who once seemed untouchable in the world of entertainment, could in theory put- He damn sure did seem untouchable. He still do though, like he's still getting away with mad shit, like- Put him into prison. Richard hasn't let any of this stop her. Her love for music still driving her. She's even gearing up to go on tour. My message to Sean Combs is stop fighting the women, come clean, acknowledge what you have done, make amends, but I don't think any of that is going to happen. Damn, Diddy, man. Throw some praise to everybody in the situation, man. But Diddy, he got demons that he need to get rid of.